In this video, I want to go over the isograms problem on Code Wars. And what the description says is an isogram is a word that has no repeating letters, consecutive or non-consecutive. Implement a function that determines whether a string that contains only letters is an isogram. Now the string in question is going to be this string right here, our local variable string. And let's look at some examples before we actually start uh, solving this problem. Uh, dermatoglyphics, or whatever this word is, is an isogram because no letter can, appears more than one time. ABA is not an isogram, so we'd return false, because A appears twice. Moose is not an isogram because O appears twice, even though that one is undercase, lowercase, and one is uppercase. We ignore the letter case, as stated here. So no matter um, the case, if a letter appears more than once, it is not an isogram. So let's get over here. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to, or solve this problem, is we're going to take advantage of a data structure called a set. Now, a set is basically a non-ordered list that contains no duplicates. So if we converted the string ABA into a set, that set would only contain the letters A and B one time each, okay? So if we convert our string into a set, ignoring the case, and we compare the length of that set to our original string, if those lengths are the same, that means that there were no duplicates because the lengths are the same and we would return true. So let's do that. We're going to get the length of that set. So we're going to say string length, length is equal to um, the set of string, so string, but we gotta ignore the case. So we're just gonna say dot lower. So what this is going to do is it's going to lower or take all the capital letters in this string, convert them into lowercase, then convert it into a set. And then after all that, we have a set, but we need the length of that set. So we're just going to say length. Okay, we're done with that. And after that, we're basically done. We need to just compare the string length to our original string, the lengths. And if they are the same, that means it's an isogram. If they're not, it means it is not an isogram. So we're going to return true if and only if the string, or the length of string, sorry, the length of string is equal to the string length, string length. And if it's not the case, so else, we're going to return false. And that should work. Let's test it. Okay, six passed. Let's attempt it. All 50 test cases passed. So I hope that you learned something from this and this was easy for you to follow. This was a 7KYU problem, so it was not all that difficult. But if you did find some value from this, I'd appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.